I have reached elite status. Welcome to Deed Tech. Uh, my name is Edmund, and if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing because it helps this channel grow. If you're already a subscriber, well, welcome back. Uh, we have some things to get to today. So here it is, guys. Switch OLED. Uh, just showing back, it is a Switch OLED. So, and just to show that it's modded, of course. Here we go in here, go to the album, and we have that uh, homebrew menu. So, we're gonna talk about that process. Um, gonna do a quick review of the installation. This was my first time doing anything like this. Um, learned a lot, and yeah, let's get into what I went over. This is not a tutorial. Uh, you can easily, easily ruin your switch. So if you don't know what you're doing, uh, that's a lot of money to be losing. So I would not recommend doing this. This is definitely for educational purposes only. But whatever you do with your console, that is on you. And you're responsible for that. So this was my first install. And I needed some things in order to do this one. Because this is nothing like any soldering I've ever done before. So... First, I needed a microscope. Um, I already had this. I've never actually used it for soldering, uh, but it actually helps a lot. And honestly, I'll probably use it for soldering from now on, for small things, of course. Um, it come, this one has a light on it. I actually bought that after I did the install because it helps a lot. I was using the light from this lamp over here, um, but this thing helps so much more. Uh, you don't get the shadows and stuff like that. Um, I picked this one up used, so it wasn't breaking the bank for me. Um, I'm gonna probably do a video with this little cheap one to see if it's even possible, or if it actually helps at all. Um, Cause I know some people who are going to do installs, um, they don't have the money to buy stuff like that. So this is a cheap alternative. It's digital, you can just put it on your computer or something like that. So I had to get a microscope. The next thing that I had to get was the wire. So this is some really, really thin wire. It's called like jump wire or I believe fly wire. Um, if you took an inch and you divided it into a thousand pieces, uh, this would be six of those pieces. So it's about the size of a human hair. Um, really small stuff and this is why the microscope helps so much. So. I think I've seen some YouTubers who've used bigger wire, but this is what I bought because it's what I saw the original video with. So um, the bigger wire may work. Uh, I haven't tried it. And since I have so much of this, I probably won't for a while. So the next thing that I got after that was some UV uh, resin cure for like a solder mask. And pretty much you put this over the wire and then you have to uh, cure it with a UV light and so it hardens and that will keep your wire in place because these wires are very delicate, any crazy movement. I mean, you could break it with your finger if you tug too hard. Uh, so this is definitely uh, pretty good for keeping things secure. And I mean, if you do ruin something, it's not crazy to take it off. So um, this is definitely needed. And last I had to pick up this uh, UV light for that solder mask. So pretty much you just put the solder mask down, uh, thin layers for the most part, and turn this on, and just leave it for a couple seconds. I usually left it for about a minute, and then it, it cured it, and it's hard, good to go, and that's what this is for. So those are the three things that I had to get. Um, of course, like I had, like I said before, I had this microscope already. Um, so installing a switch, OLED mod uh, isn't as cheap or expensive as just the chip and the switch. You gotta have the tools and everything. Of course you can do a soldering iron, a pretty decent soldering iron and uh, solder and all that fun stuff too that pretty much comes with soldering. So if you do multiple installs, of course that's gonna go a lot further, but for someone just doing a single switch, it can get pretty pricey. So if you'd like to watch a video of the teardown of the switch, uh, I did a video and I'll post it and you can watch that teardown. I'm not going to put that here because this video is just going to be an overview of the process. I'm not going to go into everything that's 
crazy detail, but I'm gonna cover some of the hard points. So here are the schematics of the install, pretty much where the wiring goes, pretty simple. Uh, just follow the colors. And there's two points that are really worth noting. I mean, of course, they're all quote unquote difficult in their own way, but two of the points are really notable. So your first point is gonna be the DAT zero point that is under the CPU, and that is where we use an adapter to get there. You gotta kind of align this little adapter piece to the, the chip, and then you gotta like push it in slowly, hope for the best. Uh, it's actually really not that bad. If you do mess with electronics small, it's not that bad. Um, so you move it, when it gets snug, uh, you take out your multimeter, you put it on continuity mode, and then you look for a value. Uh, you get your reading, and that says that pretty much the chip is touching that little point, and you tack that in place with some of that solder mass so the adapter doesn't move, and on to the next point. The next point is the hardest point. That is the uh, point that is under the APU shield, and that one you actually have to scratch off uh, this solder mass that is already on the switch. Uh, motherboard and reveal point and then you have to solder to that point so with that one um, you got to be pretty delicate with it you got to have a steady hand uh, fortunately for me I've been soldering for like over 10 years now so uh, it wasn't too bad especially with the microscope it makes it 10 times easier and you just got to be careful with it take your time uh, there is the shield when you take it off uh, there is a point on there that it is soldered to because shielding is ground. And so there is a ground that is really close to this point as well. You don't want to bridge that. I have not bridged it, so I don't know what would happen, but you definitely don't want to do that. That's never good. So let's talk about the good and the bad news. So there are some of each. So the bad news is that uh, these clone chips, um, the HW Fly chips, they come with Spacecraft version one, the first version, the initial release. And there was a new release for the OLED and pretty much it needs to get updated to that version. Um, and these manufacturers have locked the chips so that you can't write, like reprogram them. So there have been reports of OLEDs that have been getting bricked. Uh, they just stopped turning on uh, something about there's a five volt source going to somewhere it doesn't need to go. And yeah, the manufacturers aren't being very helpful right now. So the good news is that someone has actually worked on it and they have successfully done it. Um, there is yet to be a video release or instructions on how to do that. But of course, when that comes out, I'll make a video on it. Um, I do have an original SX core, so I will probably be installing that into this switch and I may just do a full video install on that um, so we can see more of the process and how it's done. Um, I do not have a microscope that has a camera built in so um, I'll do my best to record it different ways and bring you guys to the process. Of course if you want to subscribe maybe I can uh, invest in one so I can give you guys some HD content for the motherboards too. Some other good news is that there has been a new chip that's been made for the OLED. It is cheaper than the SX Core clone and the SX Lite clone. So um, that is good news because it makes it a lot affordable, a lot more affordable for, for people who want to get this install done. Um, slightly bad news with that. Um, the prices are seeming to go up. Um, I bought mine originally at $90, and the last time that I went on the website and looked, uh, it was at $120, or $110, sorry. So it's gone up $20 already, and it was maybe not even two weeks from when I had bought it. So don't know if it's gonna eventually go up to the normal prices, we will see, um, but that's just something to keep in mind. I will not be posting any links, so that's how things get taken down. And we don't want to do that, of course, because then I can't bring you videos like this because I can't get chips. So I'm not going to do that. I do want to mention, I do get comments that 
people will be asking for help and stuff like that uh, in regards to like software stuff and things going on with Switch. So, fun fact, I actually am not like a huge gamer and um, I really don't play my Switch often. So I really don't know a crazy amount about the software sides of things and file setups and errors and, and things like that. I just really enjoy soldering and so the Switch OLED was a challenge and I wanted to attempt it, so here we are. Um, that being said, there are very good resources. Uh, you have forums like GBA Temp, you have the Excalibur uh, Discord, um, and Google, and other YouTubers. So if your question is more specific for like software related stuff or help with those kinds of things, not getting certain things to work, um, I'm probably not going to be the be able to help you as much as some other people would. So that's going to be it for today's video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. It really helps this channel grow and I can then invest into things like a better microscope so we can have some HD quality videos. So help other people out and, you know, learn some things about soldering. Um, I love soldering. So definitely want to teach people about that kind of stuff. I'll probably have another video that is about either, uh, reprogramming the chip uh, whenever that gets released. Um, I do have to put in an SX core into one of these switches. I do have another switch OLED as well to mod. Um, so yeah, if you wanna watch those kinds of videos, make sure you subscribe. If you hit that bell notification, uh, you'll get those notifications uh, when I post a video. Um, so you can watch it immediately. I will see you guys in the next one.